you are listening to KSG podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about the lingaraj temple ordinance source for the content is ashwarya mohanty's article for the indian express the central government has told the odisha government that its ordinance to bring the 11th century lingaraj temple in bhuvaneswar and its associated temples under a special law is outside the legislative competence of the state legislature It also said that the ordinance is in conflict with the rules laid down under the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Act 1958. Now what is the Lingaraj Temple Ordinance 2020? Lingaraj Temple, the largest in Bhuvaneswar, was constructed by King Jajati Kesari in the 10th century and completed by King Lalatendu Kesari in the 11th century. In December 2019, the Odisha government had announced a development plan for the uh, temple and its peripheral area in Bhuvaneswar. The 66-acre Ekamrak Kshetra development plan was launched to preserve the heritage and development of the nine sites and their nearby areas at a cost of around 700 crore rupees. The first phase of the project includes outer access road development, Lingaraj entry plaza, Bindu Sagar revival plan, parking space, heritage complex, development of amenities for Kedar Gauri Mukteshwar complex, e-auto project, relocation project and a state of the art interpretation center the lingaraj temple ordinance of 2020 was introduced to manage the rituals and other activities of the temples and eight other associated temples this was intended to be on similar lines of the special act which manages the affairs of the jagannath temple in puri one of the four dhams in india at present the lingaraj temple is being governed under the odisha hindu religious endowment act the ordinance proposed the formation of lingaraj temple managing committee with a full time administrator looking after the day to day affairs of the shrine under the act a fund creation was proposed to deposit income derived from immovable and movable properties of the temple the temple has around 1500 acres in various parts of the state and the land in most of the places is under encroachment Introducing the ordinance, State Finance Minister Niranjan Pujari had said, and I quote him here, a special law for management of the Sri Lingaraj temple will ensure its better functioning, quality facilities to the pilgrims, devotees and worshippers. It will also empower the committee to safeguard the properties of the ancient temple, unquote. The ordinance vested the management of the temple in a 15 member committee that will administer the temple and its properties including temples outside their premises and mathas since the assembly was not in session the new law was proposed to be enacted through an ordinance now why has the center opposed the ordinance the ministry of home affairs has said several sections of their proposed ordinance were in conflict with the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act that is the amasr act the amasr act provides for preservation of ancient and historical monuments and archaeological sites and remains of national importance in a letter to the odisha governor's office The ministry has pointed out that the state government has already violated the AMASR Act around Lingaraj Temple by building modern structures. The ministry contended that since the ordinance covers 12 centrally protected monuments including the Lingaraj Temple and three tanks, it was outside the legislative competence of the state legislature as it violates the provisions of AMASR Act 1958. The ministry has further said that independent act vesting administrative powers to a managing committee thus facilitating dual administrative authorities will result in conflict specifying certain points of contention the ministry pointed out that clause 15 of the odisha ordinance has a provision for retail shops for sale of commodities inside or outside of the temples but as per amasr act a monument should not be used for any other purposes not consistent with its character Similarly as per clause 17.3 of the Odisha ordinance the managing committee will oversee the lease or sale of movable or immovable property attached with the Lingaraj temple but the ministry contended that movable property may include archaeological or artistic object meaning antiques and in that case it will be in conflict with the AMASR Act 1958 That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in their courses and to crack the IELTS exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening.